I literally just walked out of um, the advanced screening of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. TLDI, that, pretty damn good. Um, Again, I can't, it's hard to talk too much without trying to get too much of stuff away. For those who don't know, it is a CGI 3D animated uh, movie, uh, which is essentially the um, the origin story of Miles Morales, uh, aka the the Ultimate Universe Spider-Man, and it's you know the premise is of course there's an interdimensional rift that happens and some Spideys are. Uh, come into the universe and they all gang up and damn every Spider-Man has their own great moments the, the, the voice acting is amazing the character designs are brilliant um, just across the board like every character has a very distinct silhouette I, and I'm getting probably technical in animation terms but this kind of shits my jam um, Everyone's character and design and profile is great. The characters are very distinct and they're all brilliant and very funny. Um, even some of the background characters like Tombstone, who doesn't, I don't think he says a word, but of course his his presence is, you know, transferred very well by the animation and design. And that, that's the other thing. The um, the technical aspect of this film is quite quite amazing. The um, the filters they've used on the 3D models and all that type of stuff, it helps with that, with all the characters really pop. I mean, shit, there's one character, he looks like, like, claymation. I'm not going to say which one, if you watch it, to the point where I'm wondering, like, how many frames is this movie? Because some, some characters act like, like, very stilted, but it's definitely a design choice, but considering the vast number of like animation references in this scene, and this movie is full of references if you if you know your spidey lore or even just the spidey memes um and that being said if you love your spidey memes stay to the end of the credits i don't think i've laughed so hard at an end credit in ever it's so good um but yeah the the story's really good um can't get, can't get into two more. This is a very, this is a very spoilerific film at this point. Um, I don't want to go too much, but because uh, I mean, hell, even even like so the first twenty minutes are kind of very spoilery. Uh, but of course, because it affects literally everything in the movie. But oh, it's it's really good, and it's, and it's funny that just what. Less than two months ago, we got like one of the best versions of Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. And if you'd have told me that these two companies were working parallel together to deliver their experiences, I would believe you. The um, they've—it's like someone sat down and really thought long and hard about what the essence of Spider-Man is and how can we tell an interesting tale. And it's also great to acknowledge that you know. Peter is an older guy, and he's just, you know, still trying to do his job. I mean, in this version universe, you've got the Miles Morales thing, and he even pops up in um, the PS4 game. And spoilers, gets bitten by a spider. I'm not sure if that's going to lead into the DLC or not, but, um, oh god, I'd, I'd love to see a second Spider-Man uh, game on the PS4 that's got, or oh, hell, even if it just stars Miles, that would be brilliant. Uh, I, I'll be, I'll probably show my hand and I'll probably have to get rid of some of my fanboy cred, but I didn't actually read a lot of the Miles Morales comics back in the day. I, I had stopped reading practically all comics at that stage when he finally came up. I mean, I was reading and collecting Ultimate Spider-Man because I'm a huge Mark Bagley fan, so that, so I just, by that stage, I kind of rage quit, especially one more day, so I never got a chance to really delve into Miles back in the day and I've really got to find, got to sit down and find some of those trade paperbacks and really delve into this character a bit more but things I've read of with him in it I've I've always liked the character so it was great to see this character shine in this movie and he is the lead let's 
that's, that's you know Peter Parker is the you know a very major part plot element in this movie especially because of all the different Parkers but the idea that you know all these alternate versions are tied specifically to Peter but yeah like in the case of the ultimate Spider-Man you've got uh, Spider-Gwen who you know um is tied to Peter because of Gwen Stacy and you know in her universe Peter was like the tragic accident kind of like Uncle Ben was you got um, the spider character the Asian girl that she's amazing Spider-Ham Peter Park I love how cartoony they made Spider-Ham in this uh, in the comic books it was a he was a cartoon character but it wasn't it, it was just it was just Spider-Man in animal form. It wasn't like an actual caricature. But this one, they play him like Looney Tunes, and I think that really helps. Um, he becomes, he very much is the uh, comedy sidekick, and even he gets his, his moments to shine in this, and it's, 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 a, it's one of those great movies where, which I think, the parallels to Lego Movie is especially acute here. It's a movie that'll make you laugh, and it'll make you cry, it'll make you think, and it's a kids' movie. It's it's quite possible one of the best kids' movies I've ever seen. Uh, just, just like the Lego Movie was like one of the best things. If you like the Lego Movie, you'll definitely like this. I'll put it that way. Uh, if you just enjoy Spider-Man films, this is this is definitely one of the good ones. And yeah, um. Knowing a lot of the lore really can help you spot some of those, uh, spot some of the references in that. Um, but you don't even need that. The uh, the movie is very good at um, keeping it fresh and keeping it on a level like you don't need to know literally the fifty years of Spider Man history. Uh, it's a self contained story, but it's got those great references and it really opens up like um, the idea of the multiverse there's even a reference to the 616 universe which is the main Marvel Comics universe in there and that's really cool to spot so and there's also um, it's not really spoilish but there's a shot of like um, that universe's Peter Parker's costumes and it has the PS4 costume in there so it definitely they were definitely thinking about uh, these kind of things as they were doing it and I, I lost count of how many costumes on there it, it just kind of blew my mind I think the only costume I didn't spot I thought which would have been a bit of an iconic reference was the black costume but again it's probably superseded because of Venom uh, I have to say I didn't I didn't see Venom I wasn't interested but it's uh, this is definitely going to be more Spider-Man movie than Venom uh, if Sony made more movies like this, I reckon they would get themselves out of the financial difficulties they've been in. Um, this has been really good. I, 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 I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed Homecoming, and, uh, this is, I think this is better than Homecoming. Uh, my, my list as I was thinking as I was walking to the car was, it probably goes Spider-Man 2, uh, into the Spider-Verse, then Homecoming, then Spider-Man 1, uh, of the theatrical releases, and, wow, it, God, it doesn't, it doesn't, really hasn't been a great Spider-Man cartoon, or at least a big Spider-Man cartoon since, like, the 90s, and I, th oh, if they made this into a TV series, it'd be brilliant, it's a great premise, and, oh, and it's sequel baited like crazy, you know, this should do well enough to get a sequel, and I really hope so, because um, I really want to revisit this universe at some point. It's it's really good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be counting the days for this to come out on Blu-ray. Oh, oh, God, I, I, I'm not sure if it's going to end up with a 3D release, but there's just shots of this movie. It's like, man, I wish this was done in 3D. Like, I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a 3D movie, so... like. 3D animated movie, so it could easily be done that, but yeah, some of the visuals, uh, I'll be honest, at the beginning I thought the, what well, eventually would become the glitch effect in the opening credits, I thought was a bit chitsy, but in, in context it's, it works okay, and it's not too distracting.
Um, so if you can withstand that like first minute of just like glitchy opening trailer crap um, without wanting to take to your head with an ice pick, uh, or spoiler warning, probably not good for epileptics. It's, there's a lot of flashy lights, but the comic booky nature of this really works. Uh, and there's some there's some plot holes, I guess, but everything kind of grabs at you so well that you don't you don't care. You just you just don't go. Man, that was a lot of fun. That was that was a really lot of fun. Anyway, it's now <laughs> six, and um, I I want to I want to go and find a place to eat, and uh, uh, I can't wait for more people to watch this so I can you know chat about the chat about it sometimes. I I may do a I may do a review of this at some point. I, it's tempting to do the uh, re movie reviews of the original Spider movies as maybe as like an off week for the. Uh, it does remind me a lot of... The animation does remind me a lot of the Lego movie when, uh, you know, when the, there's things that are building in it that just kind of goes, you know, wibbly-wobbly and stuff like that. And you can tell how the Lego movie guys were involved. It's the story very much is on that kind of level of storytelling, you know, the, uh, the idea of the average person becoming, you know, being the linchpin of the story and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's. I, damn, I really want to. <laughs> I really want to really watch that again. Um, I might go and see it again once the uh, once it comes out in cinemas. Um, and, uh, and I really want to make a spider ham costume so badly. <laughs> I, w I was planning on doing a spider ham costume. Must have been three years ago. I, I, I. But I saw. I must admit, I saw a uh, Spider-Man costume, and I was a little bit put off with it. Um, not, not that it wasn't bad, but I'm like going. Uh, at least this one, it, you know, he's, he's short, so you know, those cartoon proportions really work well. But I've seen someone like with like a giant head, spider hat, and, and human proportions. I'm like, ugh. It didn't. It just didn't work well for me. So I might actually, if I make a Spider-Man costume, I might build up those proportions. I might make a bigger hands or bigger feet, something to really sell the cartooniness of it. Um, that's probably that's probably going to take a lot of work. And if I do that, I might have to start doing it sometime soon. I mean, I'm not going to definitely not going to get it done for the next uh, time the movie comes out. Um, I'm not going to get it done the next fortnight. I, I used to love reading Spider Ham um, uh, back in the day. It was it was a nice, cheesy, fun comic, and and um, I was reading it. Uh, I think it was called Marvel Tales, and it was uh, it was reprinting a lot of the '70s Spider Man. At this point, they're reprinting Spider Man, the '70s Spider Man comics, or getting closer to the '80s, and the fill in was just some other thing, but. More often than not, it ended up being Spider Ham, and damn, it was a fun, fun comic. And so, technically, the movie Spider Ham is not quite the same. It's very much more Looney Tunes, but it works so well. It works brilliantly well. And the other thing I'm going to say is the design for um, Kingpin is. Quite absurd in a really good way. He looks like literally like a slab of like meat with a the head, and it's kind of like thing where you know, after this kind of serious portrayal of um, Kingpin in the uh, in the Netflix shows and this like truly tra this tra this tragic hero that kind of all this tragic villain they're kind of portraying, and then you see this ridiculous character in this movie. But at the same time, I'm like, it works. You know, Kingpin is kind of grotesque, and it really comes through in this. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I've probably waffled on a little bit too long, so uh, you know, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's uh, for one of the, before I left earlier. Apparently, it was getting like 100% uh, on like Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that. I would 
give this movie a, a min bare minimum of a 9 out of 10. Um, I'd have to watch it a few more times before I'd probably inching closer to 9.5. Uh, there was only probably one moment in the entire movie where I kind of, I kind of was like, hang on, that, you know, it, I'm a bitter, cynical old man, and I've been having a spider fan all life, but no, it's it's genuinely really good. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll